Hello, today we're taking a look at Wondershare's Filmora. Filmora is a video editor software for both Mac and Windows that you can use to make really great movies and you know, home videos, whether it's for YouTube channels or just your family and friends. Whatever project you're entailing, it has a lot of great features that support, you know, whether it's a picture in picture, uh, text and titles, all that great stuff to make a really great movie or video here. So that being said, here we are in the actual interface. You can see it's a very blank UI, um, and you can, of course, import clips here in the initial canvas. Then your main timeline is down below. Keeps it simple, but it does pack a lot of features within its interface here. Your main video player is here in the top right, of course, where you can preview your media. Now, I have some media that I actually have to import here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag this media in, and just like that, it's gonna go ahead and load the content here. And you can see I can go ahead and scrub through those videos if I click on them. I can go ahead and play them and go through the preview window right here, as you can see. And in terms of video, it supports video all the way up to 4K. So there's a lot of great quality settings that it supports here for all the latest formats. Now, you can import through other folders. You can see their sample videos and sample uh, media they have there. Next tab would be the music, of course. So this allows you to go ahead and add like audio tracks and so on and so forth. But what's really great here is they have a ton of music tracks for you to go ahead and sample and use here. So what I'm gonna do is, let's say I want to edit this video right here. I'm gonna take some clips and I'm just gonna drag them down to the timeline here. And as you can see, it shows up here on the timeline. Let's go ahead and get longer clips in here. So you can see, you can simply just scroll through the timeline here and go ahead and you know preview your video. Uh, you have your tracks for your videos here. You have other tracks for like things like audio or text titles, and you can choose to hide those if you don't want to use them. Um, but above that, let's say you actually just want to record a video and import it into Filmora. Well, you can actually do that as well. So you can actually record the screen with Filmora. For example, if I want to do a screen capture right here, I can do a really quick screen capture with Filmora. And just like that, right now I'm recording the screen. I can move this window around. And then once it finishes here, it's going to go ahead and import the clip into a folder here. And I can take that now and import that into my timeline here. So just like that, I have now the screen capture video that I just took using Filmora. So you can import video like that, or I should say record video on the fly. You can record audio or voiceovers on the fly as well. And of course, you can choose to either delete, split, crop and zoom the video, rotate the video, use things like the power tool here which basically like to apply tilt shift to the cliff and other uh, effects like mosaic or so on and so forth here. Uh, and then you have other options here. Like for example, you can do things like color tuning or color correction on the clip here if you wanna go ahead and do that. So if you wanna adjust with like the red, greens and blues and the white balance, you can do all of that within that setting there. And then last but not least, you have an inspector. So this basically shows you the general settings of the clip related to things like the color. So for example, I can adjust the brightness on this and this is maybe more useful on an actual clip that has, like for example, this clip of the outdoors here. I can go ahead and fine tune it here. I can adjust the brightness, lower the brightness, increase the contrast. Uh, you can do things like enhance the video overall or adjust the speed. So let's say you wanna slow down the video, you can do that. Same thing goes for the audio. You can adjust the pitch. You can add a fade in or fade out effect, so on and so forth. So just like that, now the video looks you know, a little bit different there and adds a nice little effect to it. Now, that being said, you have a lot of other elements, like I mentioned, that you can add here. You can add in things like, you know, of course, the ability to drop in a music track. So if you find a track you really like, you can just go ahead and double click to preview it, hit that plus button to add it in, and then, you know, drop it along the track here. And just like that, the track now has music attached to it here. Now, there's a lot of different moods that you can go through, so like folk, rock, etc. And of course, you can import audio as well to go ahead and add to your video. Outside of that, you have the ability to add text or credit. So basically, you can find an opener or some sort of title sequence that you want here, and you can apply it um, to a clip as needed. So um, some of these you can see you'll have to actually download the media, but if you find one that you like here, in this case, here's one right here with this title, I can go ahead and choose to edit it here. So I would just say, like, for example, this is a title, and then you can add other text here. Um, and of course, just adjust it to your liking, hit OK. You can adjust the text styling, customize it. You can even add animation if it supports it here. And then you can adjust on the timeline, kind of like when it pops up. So for example, this one has an animation when the certain words come in. Um, and then you would just apply that to the clip there.
And let me go ahead and mute this so it's not too loud here. You can actually mute individual clips here, so I'll mute that. And you can see now it has that title. So now the video is coming along here, and of course you can check through their lower thirds, subtitles, they have all uh, a whole bunch of different text uh, sequences that you can use here. Outside of that you have things like transitions, these are things you can use to transition from one clip to another. So let's go ahead and drop that in there. Um, you have different ones you can go through, basic, fancy, etc. Um, and then we'll play all this in the end here. You have filters, which allow you to, of course, just apply an overall filter to a video. So let's go ahead and drop that on the clip as well here. We'll just drop that blue one right there. Um, and then you can go through and see all the other ones that they have here. It's a bunch of different things to go through. You can even add them to your favorites. So let's say you use a specific uh, amount. You can go ahead and, or specific filters or transitions a lot. You can go ahead and drop those into your favorites just by right-clicking them and then adding them to favorite. Next to that, you have overlays. So these are just other like cool effects that you can do too. Like if you want a silent film look or kind of like a uh, static look, you can just you know mess around with these different um, overlays that they can drop on top of the video there. And then you have elements that you can add in. So these are kind of similar to text, but they can also be different objects or effects here. And you can see some of these will need to be downloaded, but the ones that are available, for example, like this badge element right here, would basically just drop um, a badge on screen here so you would see something like this and you can like track it and tweak it here if you want to go ahead and use that in this case I'm gonna remove that um, but you can do things like emojis um, there's other ones like little web icons here shapes journey uh, so on and so forth and last but not least you can do things like split screen or picture in picture mode so if you want to show multiple things on screen, you can use any one of these templates that they provide here. For example, let's go with this split screen effect. I'm going to go ahead and add it to my timeline here. And then let's go ahead and double click on it here. This is the split screen inspector. From here, it allows me to choose between my media. So in this case, for drop zone one, I'm going to select this clip. And then for drop zone two, I'm going to go ahead uh, and work with this clip right here. So let's put that in drop zone two. And just like that, I now have a split screen effect. And I can go ahead and adjust the border here if I want um, and preview it here. Um, so it's all up to you if you want that border there or not. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and OK. So this is just the basic one. I'm going to go ahead and move this effect over here. And then now let's go ahead and preview the overall project here. So there you can see that split screen kind of taking place here. Um, and then you have the effect with the title and then we should get the transition here shortly just like that so again with Filmora you can do it all you can record the videos you can record the media drop it in and then of course do the overall edits down to the effects transitions music the whole deal from start to finish and of course when you're done go ahead and hit export and then you can go ahead and you know, finalize that video, package it up, and then upload it as you please. That all said, don't forget to click on the link down below to try or buy Filmora, whether it's for Mac or PC. And using our link, you can actually save $10 off on either version. So be sure to take advantage of that because that can expire soon. So you better get it fast. And again, all purchases are secured by HTTPS. So you don't have to worry when it comes to purchasing. Of course, there's also money back guarantees. But that being said, if you're looking for a really great video editor, check out Wondershares for more.